My name is Sergio Tapia. I'm an artist, a sculptor primarily, and I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I come from a long line of people who lived here. It's serene, it's beautiful. Nothing feels like this place. It's my home. My father and mother were both artists, so my childhood was surrounded with art. I remember when I started working in the workshop, I was five. To go in there and see these two people working and doing all these different things is sort of intoxicating in a way. That's my beginning. The best thing that I learned from all of that was that you could make anything you want. You just had to learn how. And I love that part of it. I've always loved process. I use a lot of hand tools, chisels, planers, routers, all those standard woodworking tools. And I've sculpted in stone, I've sculpted in wood, I've sculpted in clay. But the basic mindset is always the same. Materials dictate what you can and can't do. Out here, car culture is very important. It comes from the Chicano movement of the 1960s. Hot rods, custom cars, classic cars that are just restored, lowrider cars, which I love. For me, those cars started really piquing my interest in fiberglass. It's lightweight, it's easy to pack, it's super durable. You can paint it however you want. And so fiberglass allowed me to take custom car culture and jam it into my sculptures and start using automotive paints and materials and techniques. My creative expression has changed several times throughout my adult life. As I grow and change as a person, I started talking about political themes. And what I realized about it is rather than making a statement, what's better is to try to start a conversation. Right now, the biggest conversation that happens here in the Southwest is immigration. People from the United States take total ownership of the term American. But you start realizing America is basically a hemisphere of the world. And there's all these different histories, all these different people weaving up a tapestry of a different place. So when I was contacted by the Vilchex and asked if I would design a piece for the foundation, I took the idea of this burro, which was my favorite piñata growing up, and I started trying to tell a story in a three-dimensional form, where within one piece, you have several layers that create this narrative for a conversation. I took the idea of one piñata, I made it two. And they're sort of coming together in this playful way, but at the same time, there's a little conflict there. I needed there to be sort of this feeling of a transformation between who a person is before they get here and who a person is after they get here. So that's part of this little dance between these two fiberglass figures, who you are and who you become. That's what I'm trying to express through this piece.